This post shows you how to enable drill down for Excel's charts. Excel's charts are a fantastic way to present information. They bring out relationships within the data, and when a chart element seems strange, a deeper dive into the raw data helps us understand why. This deeper dive is called drill down. In part one, we leveraged the pivot table's show detail property to duplicate the pivot table's double click drill down feature in our charts. The pivot table's show detail property is simple but messy. It creates a new worksheet every time it's used. After a few drill downs, your workbook is cluttered with superfluous worksheets. Another problem is loss of formatting. What we want are for drill down results to preserve the source data's formatting and to end up in the same worksheet every time. Lastly, double clicking charts is often interpreted by Excel as selecting an entire series instead of a single chart point. For this reason, I have abandoned the charts double click event used in part one and instead used the charts mouse up event. Let's see how. Use Alt F11 to get to the VBA editor. We want to attach our code to the chart, so use Ctrl R to bring up the Project Explorer and double click our chart sheet to bring up the code window. This time, we attach our code to the chart's mouse up event handler. The mouse up event's parameters are very different from part one's double click event and a little less obvious for our purposes, but they provide everything we need. The parameters are button. This corresponds to which mouse button was pressed. One equals the left button, to the right, for the middle. We'll ignore this and accept any button. Shift tells us the state of the Shift, Control, and Alt keys when the mouse button was released. We'll ignore this too. X and Y are the mouse pointer's coordinates within the chart window. These are what we need. Excel can translate X and Y into our old friends element ID, arg1, and arg2 using getChartElement. Get chart element is a chart object method that accepts the X and Y coordinates and returns element ID, arg1, and arg2, just like the double click event. At this point, we could just finish the routine with our code from part one, but we want to direct the results to a single worksheet and add the source data's formatting. To make this happen, we make sure a worksheet called drill down is ready for the results complete with our company's logo. Invoke the show detail property. Remember the new worksheet. Cut the drill down results from it. Paste the copied results to drill down. Copy the original data's formatting and paste it to the drill down results. Freeze the panes just below the title row and just to the right of the first, assumed to be a key column. Remove grid lines because I think a blank sheet looks cleaner. Auto fit the columns. Delete the superfluous worksheet created by our show detail property and display our formatted drill down results. It's just a little extra code, but it makes drill downs so much nicer. This code is available for download from my Dropbox.